Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here. Welcome to another edition of FIFA 18. I'm be doing another collaboration with a buddy of mine. Hello everyone, my name is Green Draco 313. Alright, so what's our, to continue from a previous video, what's the next pick? What's the next game? First of all, you might want to upload this video on the same day as you did the last video we did. So it makes sense. For people for your viewers. Okay, well anyway. The Tennessee Titans at the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to pick the 49ers in this game because I don't think the Titans are that good, even though their record says they're 8-5, and five, but I had their 2017 Titans schedule linked up because they did beat Jacksonville in Week 2. They did beat Seattle in Week 3, but Seattle has... Has a bad record on the road against in September games. They beat Indianapolis at home, which was a uh, 14 point a win by 14 points. They lost. They got crushed by Houston when they had Deshaun Watson. They lost to Miami with Jay Cutler and the Browns at the at Cleveland. It took overtime to beat Cleveland. They did beat Baltimore by three and Cincinnati by four. They lost to Pittsburgh by at Pittsburgh, where Jacksonville destroyed Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh. They lost to Pittsburgh 40 to 17. They only got a four point win over the Colts. Which that was the first sweep of the Colts since 2002, the inaugural season of the AFC South. And, and against the Texans, Tom Savage could have won that game, but he threw a pick. The Titans ended up winning. They lost to the Cardinals, 12 to 7. So, Jimmy Garoppolo has has really impressed me because right now the 49ers' best weapon is Pierre Garcon, who and their best running back is they have a good running back, Carlos Hyde. So I'm picking the 49ers to beat this game because I like Jimmy Garoppolo's future with the 49ers. I'm going to pit the Titans. I think they've got a little bit more to play for. The Niners aren't completely stable yet, but they are the they could be something next year. Yeah, they could be something. Like, like I've asked this about this before, but the San Francisco 49ers, since they have their quarterback, they can afford to trade down in the first round to get more picks from draft them. Very, very true. All right, so what game is next? Well, wait, before, I want to ask this one last thing real quick. Um, that I asked this before, that Barkley guy from Penn State, there's been a history of Penn State running backs being buzzed, but do the 49ers need him? Because I think they're fine with Carlos High. Yeah, I think they are too. They might need another receiver. I was thinking Cortland Sutton with their pick and trained okay. down to get him. All right. This next game is a Sunday night game. Dallas versus Oakland. Speaking of this game, they're not airing any Sunday night game this year. I don't know when's the last time they do that. Of course, they'll have to make a week 17 because they don't do that until week 16. But Dallas and Oakland, I think they did this because it was Dak Prescott versus Derek Carr. Because and just win this. The Cowboys need to win out. And they need a lot of help. They need the Packers and Falcons to lose. And same for the Seahawks. Because I don't think they can do it. They could. I don't think they're going to beat Seattle, even though that game's in Dallas. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick Dallas in that one. Very obviously picked. Then. I don't think I didn't do that well against Geno Smith, and I was surprised they lost to the Chiefs. Oh, yeah, just but I'm picking Dallas in this game. But all right, this last game will it versus Tampa Bay, yeah, it's the Atlanta, in Atlanta. But Tampa Bay, I don't know. Well, I thought for sure my preseason pick was New England and Tampa Bay in the Super Bowl. But Winston not do that. The only reason Winston is not doing well that well. With all those weapons on offense, they have no off, their offensive line has been beat up all year. Their defense the same way, and they and, and they have the Nick Falk disaster. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, but they need it. I think I was gonna get fired, but I think he should. But um, Tampa Bay needs him. Uh, they can't ruin Jameis Winston's career like Kyle Shanahan. Uh, no, Mike Shanahan ruined RG 3s career. And, Jeff Fisher ruined Vince Young's career, and Tennessee ruined Jake Locker's career. They can't have that with Davis Winston. 
hard to get possession. Yeah, I'm going to pick Atlanta on this one. I, I just don't see much for Tampa, honestly. Yeah, okay. No, that's all for the picks. That's all for the picks. So let's talk about M Yeah, I was just saying, we're going to talk about MLS expansions. These four finalists that are going to get, two of them will get teams. I don't know when they'll be announced. Sacramento, Detroit, Cincinnati, and Nashville. My picks, I think I think a lot of that's going to hinge on what happens in Austin, or with Columbus. Sorry, all that that happens in Austin. If if Columbus is going to move to Austin, then I think they're going to Austin and Minnesota will have to switch switch conferences and switch with the Los Angeles FC joining next year and Miami joining in 2019. Sacramento deserves it because. They, their fans in their city have shown so much support for the Sacramento Republic FC. Jed York has funded for that team. They have shown how much they love soccer, how much they want this team. I think they get it. For the other, from the other three, Detroit, Nashville, and Cincinnati, they all would be. They would all be in the Eastern Conference. I think Detroit has the advantage being a big city, and they could probably, yeah. until the soccer stadium gets built, just use Ford Field. Or they could use Comerica Park. Or Comerica Park. Yeah, so you could just use Promising Comerica Park as well. I mean, if, I, I mean, I mean, hell, I mean, the um, freaking uh, New York FC uses Yankee teams. Stadium. It's big enough. I mean, Comerica yeah. Park is big. It's definitely big enough. Yeah. And um, let's see. Um, Nashville and Cincinnati. Cincinnati made a big run, making it all the way to the semifinals in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup, and their fans in Cincinnati really want that team. I think if I think Cincinnati will still get an expansion team to replace a team in Ohio. I think I think down the line, yeah, but I think as I said, Detroit has a big advantage right now. Yeah, They're but let me say that. Cincinnati. I think I've heard they might get their stadium in, in the Kentucky border, so. It basically be like sporting Kansas City being in Kansas instead of Missouri. The census FC Cincinnati would be in Kentucky instead of Ohio. Real Madrid have the ball. Yeah, that could, yeah, forward. but um, Nashville. That's a high-growing city. Just for another professional league team. Like I, the only thing they're missing is an MLB team. But actually, they don't have an NBA team. That belongs to Memphis. But. What are, you th what are your thoughts about Cincinnati and Nashville? Cincinnati and Nashville? If I had to yeah, pick between like them, Nashville probably Nashville. Nashville has a lot of rivalries with Atlanta and Orlando City. Orlando City and when eventually Miami. But they could have a rivalry with Chicago and Minnesota and Philadelphia. Regional. Well, so... Until they got that challenge in. Oh, in there. interesting point. I just looked it up. I, 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 just, I looked this up earlier. Comerica Park actually hosted a soccer game. They hosted a game between AS Roma and Paris Saint-Germain. Two big clubs. So, And it was nearly sold out, too. I think... I think okay. Saves comfortably. Well, in case you might want to have it, you might want to share between Ford Field and Comerica Park because Ford Field is a dome. And you, in case it's cold up there in Detroit, you might want to play indoors, especially if it's a game. And before we end this video off, I'd like to talk about other cities that didn't get a didn't get awarded a finalist. Mostly of all, Phoenix, Arizona. That's the biggest city and biggest media market without an MLS team. But Phoenix, they would the Phoenix Rising FC. They would need to build up. They would need to use University to Phoenix here, Stadium or Chase Stadium. Chase Field until they can build an indoor soccer stadium because they cannot play outside. No, no, they there. cannot. And other cities that didn't get they didn't get over the final as like Tampa Bay, St. Peter. I think they couldn't they couldn't. Tampa already had an MLS franchise once. Yeah, it was too close to Orlando. San Antonio. If Austin gets a team, I think that might prevent San Antonio from getting one. Other cities, San Diego. Like, yeah, I think, I mean, I'm not I'm not one of those people that says California has too many teams, but. 
California has many big and medium-sized cities. I, I don't want to list all of them, but and also the distance between Sacramento and San Diego would be further, a longer distance than Boston to, than Boston to Washington. So, true, true, true. I'm surprised Pittsburgh didn't put in a bid for MLS expansion. Yeah, I'm surprised Edmonton didn't either, and Mexico City as well. But other cities that didn't, like Indianapolis, I'm not sure about that. Also, Milwaukee didn't 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 have an expansion bid. And for but for the Car North Carolina, it's Raleigh or Charlotte. I still think MLS could get it in North Carolina, but I only Take think one of those, purpose. either Raleigh or Charlotte, one of those can get one. Yeah, very true. What are the other cities that, like, St. Louis, I thought That's since the Rams true. left for Los Angeles, I thought they were a front runner for too much. I don't know, like, St. Louis is not a... A, an American football town because they they couldn't support the Cardinals, they couldn't support the Rams, and they could have had the Patriots. They failed on all three of them. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Soccer town, but I don't know. They'll have to wait a little bit longer. Now. What are the other cities? What are the other cities? Uh, what do you think? I heard Ottawa was considering a bid, but I don't I don't, I don't know the validity of that. Okay. I think it makes more sense to get a four, uh, a second Western Canadian team before a, a third Eastern Canadian team. Or yeah, that's true. Very, very true on that one. That's very true. I didn't even think about going that direction, though. Hey, I think I'm forgetting one. One. One of those. Let's see. Let me count all the. Let me count using my fingers all the cities that got expansion bids. The Midwest, Detroit, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, St. Louis in the south, Nashville, San Antonio, um, Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, uh, Holy and in the west, Phoenix, Sacramento, and oh, I'm missing one. His job is to away. Let me think. Help the defense. Uh, wait, let me get let me get this again. Detroit, the Indianapolis, game. Cincinnati, St. Louis. Anybody else in the Midwest? Well, I mean, the opposition in fairness have played Vegas? really well. And oh, they were one. Really well. In the South, there was San Antonio, and, uh, Nashville, Tampa Bay, trying to switch on the attack. Um, I think there should have been. Okay, I'm gonna have to look this up real quick. Give me just a second. Okay, and while he does that, I'm gonna try and yeah, uh, fill some pass. dead air. Gonna fill some dead air here. Dag, damn it! I'm up to one, so I don't. Yeah, yeah, I'm up to. No, the no. Get out of here! I think they're offsides, or they hit my. Yeah, they, they did one or two. They got subs coming in. You find out who it was? Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Carvajal! Carvajal! It was a real opportunity. And Sacramento, Phoenix, and San Diego in the West. San Antonio. Tampa Bay, Raleigh, Charlotte, Nashville in the south, St. Louis, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, Detroit in the north. There was no, no teams in the east, but I, uh, do we get all, I guess we talk about all of them already? Yeah, we already did that. Let me say this one more time. Tampa Bay, if they were to get one, I think it would, they would have competed. Orlando City would have had something to say about it. And with... Austin might getting the crew that could affect San Antonio's chances because I think Texas is home of like six of the top 20 biggest cities in the United States.
Phoenix, I think they should don't, get don't one. You, don't, 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 don